this is probably the busiest street intersection of Regent and Camp Street. Yeah, also this is the busiest area in Georgetown. Yes guys, so I'm back in the middle of the street. Okay, so tell me what you have happening. Right yeah. I'm gonna uh, mix up everything, eat and then after I finish eat, I give you guys a review. So me have to thank you for the God. Me have to thank you for the God. So right now, me just so thank you for the God for everything you do for me. Make up everybody, you That's know me. So All right. Make up the taxi man there for me. So Camp Street starts right at the seawall, which is right ahead. They also have the police force and the most prestigious high school here in Guyana, the Queen's College High School. Yeah, but we're not going we're not going um that direction first again head this way to see um what what's really we're gonna head this way to show you guys uh camp street so i currently know on wolford avenue yeah right at all yeah and we heading up uh this way on camp Street. And over here we have a technical institute GTI. Yeah. That's where you can learn skill trade. Which can be very useful. Yeah, put your hands to work and do something. So I'm still here on Camp Street showing you guys the different business spaces here. How the terrain is looking what you can expect to find yeah and we're now at um Cowan Street oh over here I actually lost my drone yeah I have a story to tell you guys hold on I lost my drone so I'm currently no without a drone and looking to see how soon I can get a new one Yes guys, so I'm about to, um, this is GRA parking lot and the actual GRA places up more parking lot empty you now. Yes, so let me go across here to tell you guys the story of how I lost my drone. And afterwards we can continue on the tour for Camp Street. Yeah, or Enet set up something here. Nice area you can sit down. Eh? If anyone knows what this the purpose of this building, who owns it, what they use it for, please comment down below. It's a very beautiful building and I always see it. There's no one inside. So I'm always wondering um what's up here. And there's a nice little walkway here that they set up. Beautiful flowers. Yes guys, so I uh, head into the crash site and again tell them more about it. Yeah. Uh, good day. Yeah. Yes guys, so this story is I was so I was making a I was taking some drone shots for someone, right? Yes, yeah, so I was taking some drone shots and the place got windy but the drone can manage um the wind for most part it was a dji mini 2 i'm gonna show you guys the drone it has a broken arm when i get home so after i finished taking the shot right after i finished taking the shot the drone was hovering um right here somewhere right here the drone was hovering and i was looking showing the person the shot um so to see if they like it and so on which they did so um while still looking at the shot i didn't realize that the wind actually picked up and blew the drone towards the tree and when i saw it i panic and flew up and it just hit um one of the branches and fell down and slid um right here yeah in the water afterwards i recovered it so I'm gonna need to take it 
to DJI they said that it's under their warranty so they can fix it for me but I have to be in America yeah so I'm gonna have to wait until I travel again or find someone to travel for me and sort out that one yeah so no drone put it for now guys uh yeah so still continuing here um along the walk that they set up hello yes guys so st still continuing here this is uh it's the first i'm actually walking here yeah even though i came here the other day with the drone this is the first time i'm walking on this place here it seems to have something to do with the chinese because there's like a um not sure what the name is it's that temple gazebo thing like yeah yes guys so this is it right here that i'm talking yes yeah, so this definitely have something to do with the chinese can't even read the writing if anyone watching and can read it mandarin you let me know and tell me what it says look if i seen any english version no the all of it is in chinese yeah yeah so this is the little chinese temple here in Guyana yes so I'm gonna continue back on Kemp Street now to show you guys the, the stuff in and over there is St. John's Association of Guyana oh and they made the Guyana flag here yeah oh this must be with um Essex. Venezuela please leave Guyana's Essequibo alone okay it belongs to Guyana please leave it Yes, yeah, so they have this big map here on the road. Yes, yeah, so I'm standing right inside of the guy. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna head back to Camp Street now and finish showing you guys um what it looks like. Yes guys and the president is on a move. Yeah, or someone from his office. Yeah, so I asked the security guard, she said that it's a uh, Benab, yeah, but she said she's not sure of the words that are written there, yeah. So I'm back on Camp Street now, yeah, just leaving the area there and heading back uh, this way. Once again, if anyone knows which building this is, please let me know down in the comments. I'm filming on a Saturday at about 4.30, going to 5. Yeah, so place kind of getting dark now and it's kind of uh, rain, rainy season. I'm walking on the middle, I was going to say sidewalk, but it's in the middle. So I'm walking on the middle walk here between the boat streets here on Camp Street. Yeah, here we have um, Opti, Nikon, iCure Place, E-Network, Demerara Bank, uh, the corporate office. <laughs> Yeah, so a whole lot of different activities here. As I said, now it's a Saturday, so not many people would have gone to work. So the street is kind of dead for the most part. Yeah, oh, oh, one, oh and I have a request. Um, events keep... Oh, I think I need to start this up. So oh, 
Over here I have Copa Airlines um, gas station. Yes, as I was saying, um, events keep coming up that I don't. Events keep coming up that I only find out about after it's already gone. Yeah. So I'm going to give you my number. And if you're living in Guyana and you know of any event coming up, like just send me a message so that I could go to it. Yeah, if it interests me. Yeah, man. So that's my number. You guys can message me if you're living here and know about any events that is going on that I can get there. Say Shanti a pure shop. Uh, global technology oh and this is another huge building but i think this is one of the offshore places yeah over here is black magenta yeah i went over here once at a display for um young entrepreneurs yeah. Then over here we have Popeyes. So a lot of different places here. Sorry I didn't film another day where it have been more busy. You guys would have seen persons coming from work and so on. Yeah. And Papa is giving away 3.3 million in cash and prices for purchasing their chicken so you guys can go and buy so over here there's the cold gray and um swimming pool not sure if it's open or if i could go and take a look yeah we are gonna check and see and this right here is the office of the prime minister And they're doing some construction work here. Seems where's the pool? Where's the pool? Ah, uh, good there. Um, where's the, where's the pool? Let's uh, see how it is. Good there. Yeah, so this is the pool here, guys. It's nice. I actually never um come over here before. Yes guys, so this is the pool here. Yeah, you can definitely come to check it out for a swim. And there's different um swimming clubs that use it for um what do they say this now? Practice. Yeah, so you'd have to coordinate with the time and, and so on to want to use it. Fountain here is um need some work done. Yes, yeah, so this right here guys would be like the full pool, swim around and enjoy the time with with family and friends. Yeah. Man. So I'm gonna head back now on Camp Street and continue to show you guys uh, more of what so these are the starting blocks yeah, for the professional swimmers and they have the lanes and so on. So yeah, you can definitely check this out. So, making my way back now to Camp Street. Alright. So, 
that's the Cull Grand Swimming Pool. You can call them and check them out for more information. Yeah, so over there is DQ Church's Chicken. Over here used to be Mario's Pizza. I'm not sure what it is. No, seen some persons upstairs chilling. Gonna head back in the middle of the street. So I'm back in the middle of the street. Yeah. Over here I have Brewster's quality. And this is where um, I came to buy my ticket and had to turn back. Yeah, this is where the Amazon warriors sell their tickets for matches and yeah, you gotta come out real early if you want to catch a ticket for them. This right here is DRE. Earlier I was saw the parking lot. This is the actual DRE headquarters. They do your taxi and, and for cars. And you also get your TIN number here. I came here and got my TIN number. Yeah. I'm still continuing here. They have um, St. Margaret's Primary School. Yes, guys, and um, that's over here. And you have um, Nandi as stationer office. So you can go there and get your stationery supplies, printing, passport pictures and so on. And here I have um, vegan food. Oh, let me. I haven't eaten vegan in a while, so that's going to be the end of it for today. Because I'm going to try out. Um, and they say this is the best vegan food in town. So let me go and see if that's true. Oh, and they're having a um, event December 16th. Yeah, so let me go and see what they have on the menu. <coughs> oh, that's it up in here. Okay, yes guys, so this is the place right here. Yeah, the vegan place. So gonna see um, what I can get. Uh, good day, sir. Yes, good day, boss. Yeah, man. So, what's your name? My name is Sherlock. Everybody say professor. Okay, professor. So, is your place this? I'm right. the chef here in part one. Okay, so tell me what you have here. Uh, today, right now, yeah. I'm dealing with the peace cooker. Mm -hmm. This is a cooker. Vegetarian lamb. Vegetarian lamb? Lamb. I'm made from jackfruit. Oh, lamb. okay, so okay. Lamb. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. And what kind of price is it? Okay. Okay. Look colorful. Alright, so if I not see outside that you guys are the best vegan um, place in town, that's true. Uh, even say for yourself, you ask anybody that walk in here or at our food before and they tell you 100. Mm. Even if people, customers still recommend us. Nice. We go like that. That's good, man. Um, is it possible to get like a mix of different Accommodation. stuff? Accommodation. How we normally sell it is 
three choices for a thousand, yeah. four choices fifteen, mm -hmm. five choices two thousand. Normally we have fifteen dishes every day, but today is Saturday, so we kind of cut down. Oh, okay. But from Monday to yeah. Friday, it's fifteen dishes every day. Nice. From Monday coming, we'll be having breakfast starting from seven thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. Where we have like hot dogs, burgers, soup. We have. Bush tea, which is like herbs tea. Yeah. Like sweet room and lemongrass mix and so on. We also have porridge. We have a sandwich, but everything we use here yeah. is vegan. That's the butter, the cheese, the milk, everything we use here is vegan. No MSG, no dairy products. Okay. okay? Damn. There's nothing else we can't change. We everything straight. We don't even cook with pipe water, we cook with bottled water. Everything we keep it tight. Very, very straight here, you know? Yes. All right, so let me get to the food now. All right, so I want, I want to be able to, to, to taste um, everything. But the the main thing that I want is the rice and and um, the the lamb looking good as well. Yeah. Speak look a lot of please, sir. This is a restaurant we had in Toronto, Canada. Oh, okay. The lights off, right? The lights need camera off. That's where the lamp is. Whoa. It tastes like a meat. <laughs> it tastes really good, man. In this place, you would not miss meat if you started here. We had a lot of people that come here that used to eat meat after a month and so on. Yeah, they, they stop eat, eating. They stop eating. Because it's like you wouldn't miss it, guys. They, right. they, 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 um, what's the name of it? That's the veggie lamb made from jackfruit. The, the, the veggie lamb that you make from the jackfruit, it actually tastes like meat, guys. Like, you wouldn't know if he didn't tell me that it was meat, I wouldn't know. Yes, guys, so you're loading up the food, no? Guys, so this is the food. You can see how colorful and nice it's looking. So I'm gonna eat it and let you guys know. All right. All right. I'll soon come to the table. All right. Yeah, man. Look, look at the table. Look behind you. Yeah. All right. Heavenly Father, please bless and pray and consecrate in Jesus Christ. Um, what do you have to drink? What's that? What do you have to drink? What do you have to drink? Yeah. Right now we have sorry juice in the long here. Sorry? It's not too long. It's kind of long. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yes, guys. So I get some sorry juice. And again, have it with my vegan dish here and then continue on chemistry. Yeah, and I took a seat right along the road. I can't see the view that we have here. Yeah. Nice. So this is a nice um, indoor setting. Delicious food. Look at that, man. So I'm going to taste it all and let you guys know um, which one I like the most. Okay, so first starting off basic with the chana. So this is the chana here. It's good. This is a good um sorrel juice as well. Alright, so we've got for some of the corail, I know. Boy, it's bitter. Mm. Alright, 
Alright, so not really a fun of the Carolina cars. It's bitter, but who will like it will like it. Yeah, and this now is the veggie fish. If you notice, it's kind of like in the shape of fish itself. So let me see how this one is. Wow. Mmm. I have to ask him what this one is man it tastes like lob lobster it tastes really really good it tastes better than the lamb to me this this one here this is my favorite so far So let me go for some of the um, macaroni now. Yeah, it's a good macaroni and the rice. Like, I never knew that vegan food could taste this good. So here what I can do. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, mix up everything, eat. And then after I finish eat, I give you guys a review. Alright, cause tasting really good so far, man. guys um that that food could definitely make anyone at all go vegan yeah it it was really delicious and satisfying yeah only the corolla yeah i didn't like the corolla because it was bitter but the rest of it was just delicious and nice definitely come and give this place a try man. Yeah man, Ross. So the, the food tastes real good, man. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the best. And this one was my favorite. What what this one? What is in this? Salmon. Yeah. There's Derek salmon. Okay. Tasted. Oh, so it's fish. Yeah, vegan fish. No, I mean, what's the actual thing? No, this one, this one is that. Uh, Oh. Okay, this this was like the the, the bomb man. I, I really yeah, enjoyed that. that man every time, you know? yeah. Alright guys, so come and check out Ras place, alright? Yes guys, I leave in the vegan restaurant no? Yeah man. And uh heading up my oh, road the place gone dark man yeah i was trying to not finish eating up the food and come out earlier but it was it was really good man yeah i had to just stay enjoy it. and i'm back on um camp street now Sing a song with it. Some was dedicated and call me friend. This one is here to myself, come to trust some of them. They pull up a full top. Alright, go on and go. So, so your name, man, what you're saying? Let me introduce myself, see me. You don't yeah. know. You know, my name is Sabali. Yeah. See me? Sabali means patience. 
Oh, so okay. me tell them you have to give thanks every single day. Yeah. And that's one way. You gotta give thanks. So me tell them. Uh, right now me just say thank you Father God, thank you Father God, thank you Father God for everything you do. Me have to thank you Father God. Some more city they tell them call me friend. So me stay to myself come not trust some of them. Them say we doesn't care you make you stronger. That's why for when me wake me have to pray me have to thank God. Like it's good people get the most certain. We want trust but me uncertain. Me have to pay me so much to feel like me need a surgery. Me still look for love, that's why you see me still searching. So me have to thank you Father God. Thank you Father God. Thank you Father God for everything you do. Me have to thank you Father God. So right now me just say thank you Father God. Thank you Father God. Thank you Father God for everything you do. Me have to thank you Father God. Yeah, man. The mountain thing me try and fail. God say try again one day you gon' prevail. Never give up on your one journey. Enough of them are like that. Them a show door to me. Them see me a fight back. Me out the ball like a candle. I mean I like that. For you show me with the truth. Me have to prove that. Hold it for depression and frustration. Frustration make man stay strong. For meditation, God say he stay strong. Me respect everybody. Shout out to me there once. So me have to thank you for the God. Me have to thank you for the God. So right now me just so thank you for the God for everything you do for me. Me have to thank you for the God. Yeah, you don't know. Got right. to thank, got to give thanks all the time. You see me? Yeah, I'm man. Sure everybody, hey, you gotta give thanks when you wake every single day. You know what I'm saying? God, there is a God, and He's with us to guide and protect us. Amen. Peace out. All right, patience. Big yeah. up yourself and Sabali. respect, here. Yeah? Sabali. Respect. Oh, the song is patience. No. My name is Sabali. Yeah. Sabali means patience. Like oh, people oh okay, okay. Sabali. I so, Sabali means patience. But the song means, the song name, thank you, Father God. All right. So yeah. that's Sabali, which means patience, and his song, thank you, Father God. Respect. All right. Big up yourself, right here. See, man. Yeah, man. <coughs> yes, bro. So that was uh, Sir Bali. Yeah. By um, Sir Bali, man. And I like the message that he has in his song. Yeah. Um, oh, there's a lot of trucks here. It's not sure what's inside the containers. Oh, maybe it's oil. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's oil. But it seems like it's water, you know, because they have um, ultra water, so it's probably water. Yeah. And here is um, St. Joseph Covenant, um, Guyana Isle Company head office. Yeah. So I'm almost at the main area of Camp Street, which is where everything goes down. This is the, that would be um, Regent and Rob. Yeah, the camp street between Regent and Rob is like the most busiest camp street of them all. Yeah. Oh, and this is Guyana office for investment. So now I have to, I have to leave the middle of the street now. So I'm gonna cross the pedestrian crossing here. So I have to wait, and then I'm gonna head down more and show you guys some more of this street here before heading back to Starbrook Market. Okay, so I finally get to cross. Over there is Candy Corner, Luminous Service Center, Smart Click, and Luminous again. Luminous has light bikes and other stuff available. So this is um, the BPO Center. You have Teleperformance and ITEL. Yeah, call center is like one of the biggest employers here in Guyana. 
persons waiting on bus. They have the big church up there, the cathedral. And they have a um, Bedford Methodist Church. Yes, yeah, so this is Teleperformance, the first one. Then the second one is ITEL. Yeah, and as I said, no, a lot of persons not out. You'd have seen a lot of the workers from the call center along the road and so on. Yeah. Over here, since that this one has gone to waste, hopefully, someone takes it and develop it because it's in a very busy area yeah. so we continue on the street and we're gonna cross the road now and this is the blue machine we have republic bank Yes, and over here. Yeah. Oh, I said, oh, I said something. You don't really know. Did you open? You want to say anything? Big up nobody. Big up everybody. You don't know. All right. All right. Big, big up yourself. Eh? Yes, guys. So. And in here have a restaurant which the food is okay but it takes really long to um serve pelican and the bank yes and then over here is city mall city mall um and home and beyond yeah let me see if I can get a better shot from here. Okay. Yes, so this is it right here So right this is probably the busiest street intersection of Regent and Camp Street. Yeah, also this is the busiest area in Georgetown. Yeah, as you can see for yourself, a lot of cars along the street. Persons crossing. Persons packing up, heading home. Yes, so this is probably the busiest street that I know of that in Dodgeville. So I'm gonna cross Regent Street now, go to the other street and then that would be the end for this part of the tour. Yeah, and Camp Street got his name from the, the, um, the camp. So this is another viewpoint of Camp Street. Yeah, Burger King. And now I'm gonna head now towards the sorry. Yeah, so I think this is where I'm gonna end the video because there is music playing. Up ahead. but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, this was just a walk through showing you camp street different places here you can come and visit and so have a better idea so hope you guys enjoy this video remember to message me or call me if you know of any event going on here in Guyana and peace be with you